to it uh, and talk about uh, where we are with Florence right now. We're moving the sectors around. Uh, that's why you see that little line popping through the uh, uh, the satellite there. But we're still watching as we go right off the coast here. Uh, a band of very, very heavy rain uh, being pulled into the region. We'll continue seeing that happen as we go throughout the day today. Most of this activity we've been tracking uh, has been waning a little bit. That's the good news, uh, but still a lot of activity. All this rain that we're seeing getting pulled in those winds right there around uh, for the most part uh, where you're seeing Florence now, which is off to the south and west uh, there of um, Columbia. I'm trying to get my clicker to work. There we go. Still that risk of tornadoes today, uh, and there was a tornado watch in effect too, but it, it's not just around Fayetteville. We can't rule out isolated spin ups just about anywhere. We're not in the watch up north. The watch is to the south, but any showers that move on by uh, could have a little bit of rotation. We're looking for We're not seeing any yet. If we do, of course, we'll break in and let you know. So Floyd had 24.06 inches, destroyed that record uh, here with Florence, over 30 inches of rainfall. Uh, uh, again, for a record for the state right now, still a lot of flooding going on where you see the rain or the red color. That is a flash flood warning. Now, it doesn't mean everywhere in these counties is flooding, uh, but there's flooding happening in those counties. Low lying areas, typical areas that do flood, seeing those flooding con issues and up by the triad all the way to the mountains. A flash flood watch is in effect, and we have to watch all this moisture now as we continue seeing this axis of moisture shifting farther to the west and eventually we'll go to the north. Uh, I'll be watching the path of where Florence is going to go out to the mountains later on tonight. You see the flow still coming in our northern counties, mainly spotty showers that are moderate, mainly a light rain event, but at times we will get a heavy downpour setting up and you see how it's in a line right there. So if you live in a section like right here, notice how that rain's going to move in. You got about maybe 40 minutes a very heavy downpour coming your way. Most of Wake County right now is just spotty showers around the region, light to moderate, but at times a heavy downpour, but more widespread yellows and oranges where we do not want to see that heavy rain still happening down in the sand hills. This really heavy batch of rain is heading right into Cumberland County. You're going to have about an hour of rainfall rates upwards of two inches per hour, so you could really add to those totals quickly and thunder and lightning off the coast, but we're seeing less and less of that rain. This was all filled in yesterday and uh, early this morning. Now it's more spotty, but thunderstorm activities waning too as it moves into the Wilmington area. Incredible amount of rainfall. You can easily see where the heaviest amounts have been with those uh, color codes there. Lesser amounts to the north, but still Doppler estimates at around three, even four inches in places in our northern counties. On average, around six or so in the in the triangle, around 10 in parts of uh, uh, Cumberland County. But this swath right here averaging around 15 to 20 inches of rainfall and more to come. This this is predictor our forecast model, the high resolution version. And notice too, the heaviest rain now, you're seeing these pockets shifting farther off to the west where we haven't seen significant rain. That's going to be heading up to the triad and our western zones. And instead of the rain showers coming in here, basically more easterly to westerly, it's more going to come in from the south to the north as we go overnight tonight. So these showers are going to be lifting northward and could be training, could have heavier showers moving up 95 in places. But the lion's share should be coming up again from the south in our western zones. But we're not out of the woods yet. So overnight tonight, some heavy rain could move in, but you can see a lot of the models suggesting the farther west is where we're going to have the heaviest amount of precipitation. The North American model very similar, heavier out to the west and our in-house model again, decent rain for a lot of us, but the heaviest is going to stay out to the west. I think that's where we're going to see most of our problems going forward. So as we break it down, our northern counties heaviest to the west. That does include Roxborough and Oxford, maybe up to three inches there. This is between now and during the day tomorrow. And the farther off you to around Roanoke Rapids, much less amounts, maybe a quarter inch or so. Farther to the south in the triangle, less than an inch, maybe around Lewisburg and then upwards of four inches out in the western part of the triangle. So again, quite a range from east to west. Wind at 15 to 25, so the wind not nearly as much as it was before. The flooding danger still elevated, so I'd say moderate, and then high danger down in the sand hills. We're already seeing significant flooding all over the place, but it's going to continue uh, all the way through today, today, and probably tonight. Rain two to six more additional inches on top of where we are now. Lesser amounts are to our west 
or to our east rather, and then heavier amounts as Florence continues to shift farther off to the west. Silish City, about a 33 mile an hour gust so far today. So notice most of the winds not as strong as yesterday, not even close, although we did get a 49 mile an hour gust in Fayetteville after midnight. Uh, most of the time it's in that 20, 30 mile an hour range. But as we get into South Carolina, put Wilmington in there, they had a 46 mile an hour gust, but near Charlotte, 44. Fort Bragg about 36 and Columbia at 26 miles an hour. Cape Fear and the Lumber River. Lillington already uh, getting close to flood stage there. It's going to crest long time Wednesdays when it's going to crest. Lumberton, it's cresting pretty much right now. It's at 23.4, going to get up to 24.2. So we're already seeing extensive flooding going on there. Smithfield and Goldsboro on the Noose River. Not as bad in Smithfield, uh, but definitely the flooding already occurring there in Goldsboro with more heavy rain moving in by the way Tuesday crest at 26.8 and then finally Fayetteville going to get up to 62.3 well above flood stage already flooding right now in minor flood stage and we're going to be watching this uh, continue uh, to increase I went way too fast there. I have one more to do and then Manchester Little River uh, look at that it's going to get tomorrow up to 34.6 it's already at 23.6 already flooding there about five and a half feet above flood stage so how does this compare to Matthew the Tar River not even close to Matthew the Noose River about 10 inches less uh, the Noose River at Goldsboro about two and a half inches less. So still significant, still going to have big time flooding there in Wayne County, but not as bad as Matthew. Where it's going to be worse than Matthew is going to be the Cape Fear at Lillington, about five inches higher. Cape Fear at Fayetteville, about three and a half inches higher. And Little River at Manchester, about three and a half or so, or about 3.3 higher. So definitely places are going to be worse. Rain today, on and off. At times, it'll be heavy. Temperatures 70s and 80s. Tonight, 70s and more rain, but the heavier bands of rain Everywhere, everyone has a chance, but the lion's share is going to be starting to shift west. The farther west you live, the better chance of getting heavy rain overnight. And that's where the heavier rain will be tomorrow during the day. 80s, sunshine comes back. We'll dry things out as the week goes on. The river flooding will continue.